Hello. Welcome back to AQR. Um, I am going to do another lesson on weighted averages. So last time we talked about slugging averages, which uh, rate how good a baseball player is at hitting the ball. And today, sticking with that theme, uh, we're going to talk about quarterback rating, so more sports, uh, which rate how good a football quarterback is. Uh, so this is also a form of weighted average and also generally involves, like slugging averages, just using a formula and being able to manipulate that formula to find an unknown. But it's a more complicated formula to deal with than the baseball one. So here is the formula. Don't be too scared. All right, so it's a big formula. Let me to break it down. So QR is obviously quarterback rating. And then we've got all these big long things. So percent comp is completions over attempts, okay? So completions over attempts would be you know, the number of times they tried to throw a, the number of times they threw a pass and it the right person caught it divided by the total number of times they threw a pass, including times no one caught it. Now since it's a percent, that means we have to multiply whatever we get here by a hundred because that's how this is basically a decimal and multiplying by hundred converts it to a percent. Uh, percent TD, same thing but with touchdowns. Times 100, because it's a percent. Um, percent int. Interceptions over attempts. Times 100. And last but not least, we've got YD, which is yards over attempts. Now, a few things to notice here. Um, notice that you know, these three are percents. Like I said, they have to be multiplied by 100 to make it a percent. But the yards is not a percent, because you'll find that yards, you run a lot more yards than you have attempts or passes. Um, and it is not multiplied by 100. So when you start doing these problems, you have to make sure you keep in mind what you're calculating, what you're multiplying by 100, and what you're not. Uh, so be careful. Um, when we talk about weighted averages, you know, I told you some things are worth more than others. So you can see that in the um, coefficients here. You know, getting a, throwing a touchdown is kind of a bigger deal than just throwing a pass. So it's weighted at four times the amount. Meanwhile, throwing an interception, that really can screw up your, your game. So that's worth a lot, and notice that it's a minus. So your quarterback rating gets counted off if you throw interceptions. So make sure when you're doing it that you don't just add everything, because you don't want to give someone credit for throwing interceptions. And then 50 times the number of yards also worth a lot, because if you don't gain yards, then you're never going to win, right? Okay, so we have all these little things. So basically, we have to do a little bit of calculating as it, with our information here before we even plug it into the formula. And that's why quarterback rating is a little more complicated than slugging average. Um, so let's just go all in with the examples. So the first one I have says, for the first two games of 2008, Then Cowboys quarterback, Tony Romo, completed 45 passes 
in 62 attempts. For a total of 632 yards, four touchdowns, and two interceptions. What was his quarterback rating? Okay. Okay. So we have all information. This is the easy one. It's just finding QR, so we just got to plug it all in. So first we've got percent comp. Completions over attempts times 100. So he completed 45 passes over 62 attempts times 100. He had four touchdowns. And again, we're always going to be using the same thing, 62 attempts times 100. Percent interceptions, two. So two interception out of 62 attempts times 100. And finally, we've got yards. And that's 632 out of 62 attempts. And it's not times 100 because it's not a percent. Okay, so we can use a calculator if we want to get these decimal answers. Um, around a, let's see, 72.58. I'm going to round to two decimal places. So 72.58%, 6.45%, percent Three point two three percent, and ten point one nine, not percent. Okay. All right. So now it's just a matter of plugging it in. I feel like I already don't have much space left. Um, I'll just plug it into the original. All right, so percent completion, 72.58. Percent touchdown, 6.45. Percent interceptions, 3.23. Okay. Whew. So, under that, we've got twenty five plus. 125.8 40 times 6.45 plus 258 with this minus 50 times 3.23, that's 161.5. And then plus 509.5, all over 12. Okay, so now I can just add those up. Plus 725.8, plus 258, minus, make sure you do minus, 161.5 plus 509.5. That gets me 1356.8 divided by 12, which is 113.07. So that would be 
Tony Romo's quarterback rating for those first two games, 113.7. Okay? So we had a few different steps to do. We had to calculate each of our numbers that we got using the percentages or whatever, then plug them back in and make it all work. Okay? D, percent interceptions, and yards. Okay, so let's get to some harder stuff where you have to actually move the equation around. All right, let's see. As of 2009, Steve Young has the highest quarterback rating in NFL history. So this is for his entire career. He completed 2,059 passes out of 3,192 attempts. For a total of 25479 yards 174 touchdowns and had a quarterback rating of 96.3 how many interceptions did he throw? All right. So, maybe to save room, I can do this over here. So, completions is 2059 over 3192 times 100. Touchdowns was 174 over 3192 times 100. Interceptions is what we don't know. And yards is 25,479 over 3192. Okay. So, I don't want to find my percents and everything here. 2059 divided by 3192, that is 64.51. Right here. Okay. 174 divided by 3192 is 5.45 and 25.479 divided by 3192 is 7.98 all right oh and we had the quarterback reading of 96.3 so you can plug this in 96.3 equals 25 plus 10 times 64.51 plus 40. Five. 
minus, you still see, oh, there you go, 50, and we have our unknown percent interception, plus 50, and our yard, 7.98. Whew, just barely enough room. All over 12. Okay. Okay, so time to break it all down. Ten times sixty four point five one will be six hundred and forty five point one. Uh, 40 times 5.45 is 218. This is 50 times percent int, I still don't know, plus 50 times 7.98, which is 399 apparently. All over 12. Okay, so I want to simplify this even more. Before I start doing algebra, I can add up everything around this 50 times percent int. So 25 plus 645.1 plus 218 plus 399 comes out to be 1287.1 minus. 50% int divided by 12. Okay, now we have to focus on solving the variable, solving for the variable, okay? So, if I need to get rid of the 50, I need to get rid of the 1287.1, I need to get rid of the 12. I like to get rid of my fractions first. Fractions are inconvenient. So to get rid of everything divided by 12, I multiply everything by 12. And that cancels that 12 out. So 12 times All right, now I've got this nice formula right here. So, uh, 1155 equals 1287 minus 50 int. Uh, generally, we want to start as far away as we can from the variable and work our way in. So 1287 is next. So how would I get rid of 1287.1? Well, it's positive. So it's basically like it's being added, so I'm going to subtract. So that cancels out. Now you'll notice I'm subtracting something that is bigger than what I'm subtracting it from. I'm going to get a negative number here, but don't be scared. That's all according to plan. All right. So this is negative 131.5 equals, now here's why it's okay, this canceled out, but this didn't. That minus is still there. So this is now negative 50 times percent int, because that minus is still there. All right, whew, this takes up a lot of room. I think I've mentioned this before. One thing that kids in the past have said to me about AQR when I'm teaching them, they say, Miss, it's not hard. It's just a lot. And that's kind of <laughs> the epitome of this. All we're really doing is multiplication and basic algebra, but it's taking up all this room because it's just a lot. But don't get intimidated. It's not hard. It's just a lot.
Okay. I'm going to rewrite what I've got here. Negative 131.5 equals negative 50 times percent interception. Okay, so now we need to get rid of the negative 50. A lot of times with things like this, I see people want to add 50 because they see the minus, they want to do plus. But we're trying to get the percent int by itself. So all that really matters is what's going on between the 50 and the int. I'm trying to draw this small enough. To move up. And what that is, is multiplication, okay? It's negative 50 times percent int. So we're not going to add, we're going to divide by negative 50. Okay? And that's why it was okay that negative 131.5 was negative, because now when we do a negative divided by a negative, we get a positive, right? Positive 2.63. Now, I have one tiny bit of bad news for you, but don't be scared. We're not quite done. 2.63 is the percent of interceptions. But as we know, percent interceptions is interceptions divided by attempts times 100. That's what equals 2.63. Now, we know the attempts, 3192, right? That was all over everywhere. Okay, so two things. Um, I would divide by 100, which really just moves the decimal point two places over, right? That gets us interceptions over 3192 equals 0 0.0263. Okay, so getting rid of the 100 means moving the decimal point over two places. And last but not least, what do you do to find the interceptions? Well, this is being divided by 3192. So we're going to multiply by 3192. Three one nine two times point zero two six three is eighty three point ninety five, and you can't throw part of an interception, so I would round that up to eighty four. Who that was a lot, but eighty four interceptions. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Okay, the video is running long, but I was going to do one more example. I'll try to make it quicker. Well, no, I won't. I'll just try to do it. <laughs> I don't want to make it too quick or I might get lost. Okay. How about I not write down the whole story and just give you the stats? So this person has a quarterback rating of 96.5. He completed 452 passes in 675 attempts. with 16 interceptions and 5,129 yards. How many touchdowns? All right, so quarterback rating is 96.5. Completions over attempts is 452 over 675 times 100. Touchdowns, we don't know. Um, interceptions is 16 over 675 times 100, so it's a percent. And then yards, which is not a percent, is 5,129 over 675.
Okay. So, 452 divided by 675, that's 66.97. Uh, this we don't know. 16 divided by 675 times 100 is 2.37. And 5,129 divided by 675 is 7.5, uh, 7.6 when you round. Okay, so let's plug these in real quick. So, quarterback rating, 96.5, equals 25 plus 10 times percent completions, 66.97, plus 40 times percent touchdown, which we don't know, minus 50 times percent interception, which is 2.37, plus 50 times yards, which is 7.6. And that is all over 12. Okay. Simplify it down. 10 times 66.97 will be 669.7. That we still don't know. times 2.37 is 118.5 and 50 times 7.6 is 380 all over 12 so now we can add up everything that we know 25 plus 669.7 minus 118.5 plus 308. So that's 956.2 plus 40 times percent touchdown equals 12. Now the good news is we're going to basically go through the same steps here as we did before. Let's get rid of the 12 first. Because who wants fractions? So on this side, we've got 96.5 times 12, so 1,158. And over here, 956.2 plus 40 times percent touchdown. Now, track 956.2. Okay, that's 201.8 equals 40 times percent touchdown. Last step to get the percent by itself, divide by 40, so it's going to be about 5, right? Yep, 5.05 .05 equals percent touchdown. Now we're almost, almost done. All that we need to do is solve this. So touchdowns over attempts, and our attempts was 675 times 100 equals 5.05. .05. Okay, so if we get rid of the 100, we move this over two spaces. So touchdown over 675 equals 0 .0505. And last but not least, multiply both sides by 675. That cancels out, and I know I scored a grand total of 675 times 0 .0505. 34.09, a.k.a. 34 touchdowns. Whew. Like I said, 
not hard, just a lot. So there's quarterback ratings, and this is a half hour long video. Sorry, guys. <laughs>